a friend of mine, Starlink, isn't working, so I'm running out there to see what the problem is, and I figure it's probably either a hardware or software issue. If it's hardware, it's going to cost money. If it's software, it's going to cost time and knowledge. So, uh, I guess we'll see what happens, and I'll take you guys for the ride. Complaints of intermittent connectivity and then complete disconnected. I go on the app, I try and diagnose the issue. It says that the router is fine, but there is a disconnection with the cable to the dish. I tried reconnecting the cable and that didn't help. So I took it downstairs. I used the other cable that we have, plugged it in, rebooted. And when I say reboot, I don't mean unplugging the router and plugging it back in. I mean going on the app and hitting the slide to reboot button because that does a different thing than unplugging the router and plugging it back in. It's a different process. Once rebooted, this showed up just fine but it said, you know, it had tipped over. So we're gonna install it back vertically and plug it back into this cable that seems to be giving us issues and see how that goes. just because I'm a YouTuber, so I was hoping it would be a little more complicated. So there was no damage to the line. There was no damage to the dish. There was no damage to the router. No physical damage at all. Had to be software. Essentially what happened was the power went out and after the power went out, it had a little trouble reconnecting to the dish itself. So all I had to do was go into the app hit slide to reboot, and it was fine. When I took it back onto the roof, it didn't want to reconnect to the dish again when I plugged it into the longer cable, and I had this oh no moment. Maybe the longer cable is damaged in some way. And then I slid to reboot in the app, and after five-ish minutes, it rebooted the router, reconnected to the dish, and everything was hunky-dory. So there's something about hot swapping, hot plugging, right, that it doesn't like. You would assume that it's fine with hot swapping. Most things in today's technological era are hot swappable, but it doesn't quite like that. I'm not sure why. So anyway, after you unplug your router, plug it back in, you need to wait for it to power back on again, but then you need to slide to reboot the router so that it can reconnect to the Starlink dish. Maybe that will help somebody out there. It wasn't immediately apparent, but obviously if you just went straight to sliding to reboot, it would solve the problem and you wouldn't even think about it. But I think most people especially non-technical people are going to immediately grab the power line, the power plug, and unplug it from the wall and plug it back in because that's what we've been taught to do over years of dealing with overheating routers. In this case, don't unplug it from the wall. If you do unplug it from the wall, you'll likely need to reboot the router in order to reconnect it to the dish. All that doesn't really fully explain why it cut out in the first place. I mean, it could have been a power outage. 
but it doesn't explain the intermittent cutting out uh, before it fully cut out. So what caused that? I imagine this problem is going to creep up again in the near future. I'll update you guys maybe in a YouTube short or maybe in a whole other video if I can figure out what the problem is. Hmm. In regards to Starlink out there, it's so simple and it really just works and can't fault them for that. It's not very interesting. You just plug it in and it works. I mean, after rebooting, of course, but yeah, solid system. And I was getting crazy good numbers. I mean, 140 megabits per second out in the boonies. Uh, upload speed was around 10 megabits per second, which is pretty decent. Uh, I would say that is incredible for how far out of town we are. I'll see y'all guys later. Have a good day.